I got two left feet and a bottle of red wine Making me feel like the beat in the bass line Or in my blood both hands up on a waistline Get on up baby, dance to the rhythm of the music Don't care what the DJ chooses Get lost in the rhythm of me Place don't close until we wanna leave it You and I were flying on the narrow plane tonight We're going somewhere where the sun is shining bright Just close your eyes And let's pretend we're dancing in the street In Barcelona Instagram has normally been where we've done a lot. We've been MIA. We've both just been super busy. Um, I was like home for a week in June, and then I was gone for two weeks at camp, and then I was home for a week, and then I was in Florida for a week, and then I was home for like five days, and then I was in Colorado. Then right after I was in Colorado, I had to go do a scholarship program. Crazy amount of stuff. You will have, just before this video, seen a clip. Uh, the intro clip will not be our Disney intro clip like it has been for our other videos. It will be a, like, my summer intro clip. Um, a little video compiled of all the things I did this summer. Um, just to kind of give you a look into my summer. I, like I said, I was in Florida, I was at camp, I was in Colorado, I was here in Oklahoma at a scholarship program, so it's a lot of stuff. Um, ergo, I got, actually didn't get a lot of stuff. I do have a lot of things to show you. Some of them were things I was gifted, um, some of them were things I bought over the course of the summer, but we shall get started. We shall get started. I guess we'll start with Florida. Um, where to start? We'll just start with this stuff. I was in Florida for a dance competition. I won a title. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a competitive dancer. I won a title at our regional in Tulsa. Um, that was the regional I had to travel to to compete. I'm not from Tulsa, but that was the only Oklahoma location this competition had. So I traveled there and I competed there. Um, and I won the title. I actually have my jacket. One moment. I've returned. Okay. Um, so I won title in Tulsa. That was their Oklahoma competition. Um, and so you get, when you win title, you get a fancy sweatshirt hoodie. Um, this competition I really like. And it's, I don't know how to explain it. I like this, com okay, wait, got it. I like this competition because their title, you don't have to pay to enter. Most competitions you have to pay separately to compete for title. It's like a completely separate competition from the actual competition. Celebration, which is the competition I won title at, to compete for their title, you just have to have a solo entered. And then the judges just pick a solo that they're like, this one's really good, this one could do well at nationals, 
I want to give them title. Um, so my solo qualified for title. And then my duet and my sister's solo both qualified to compete at nationals. So we went to nationals. Um, so the first thing I got was I got this Dancer of the Year tank top with my number on it. I had to wear it in class to show them my number so they knew who to be looking for. I also got a Dancer of the Year jacket, has my name embroidered on it, right there, has the logo there, and then the same logo on the back, um, it says National Semifinalist, it says the year, really nice. Um, everyone got luggage tags, and I also got... <laughs> All of the Dancer of the Year girls got backpacks. They're kind of just, they're, they are just the cheap, like, fancy brushing bags, but that's what all of our stuff came in. Um, while I was in Florida, I had a few, oh, sorry. While I was in Florida, I had a few days where I wasn't really dancing, um, or I had big breaks. So I had time off to go do stuff. Um, our first night there, one of our first nights there, we went to Universal and we ate dinner there. We went to Toothsome. Um, it was really good. I had a Corp Monsieur, um, which for those of you who don't know, it's basically a really fancy ham and cheese sandwich. It's dipped in bechamel sauce. It, was really good. Um, it came with fries, drink, and then I got a macaron from downstairs. But while we were in Universal, I got the Starbucks mug for Universal. I am a big coffee mug person. I collect them. Um, I have the ornament versions of these. I have the Oklahoma one. I have a few others. This is actually my first one of this series, like, of their Been There. This one's the Been There series. The older versions are the You Are Here series. This is my first version of those that I have because normally I like to get the little ornaments to put on my Christmas tree. However, since we were there in July, they weren't selling the ornaments. So I bit the bullet. I got the big mug but I like it. They actually have a divot at the bottom so you can stack them, which I really like. Um, so yes, that was my first purchase. Later that week, we went outlet shopping um, and I got these Crocs. I've, I've been against Crocs. I've been an anti-Croc person, but I really liked the pastel colors of these and I thought they would be good for dance or just for the summer as wearing around shoes. So, yes, they're like the tie-dye ones. My sister actually got the tie-dye ones, but they're the pastel tie-dye. And then gibbets were buy two, get the third one free, I think. Um, and so I got the Captain America one because I'm in love with Captain America. I just got this exclamation point one, which everyone always thinks is an eye, but it's an exclamation point because I, I don't know, I'm overly excited. Um, so yes, exclamation point, I'm overly excitable. Also, if the frame looks like it's changed, it's because it has, my camera fell, so we've readjusted it. I think we're fine for now, but also lighting changed because this light bulb back here was annoying me, so it's gone now. Um, other shoe. Oh no, the gibbet's dirty. It's fine. This one has a little coffee cup, and it's a play on Starbucks, but it's got the Crocs, crocodile right there, because I love me some coffee. And then this one is the Orlando gibbet. Um, it's the state of Florida. It's got some dolphins down there and palm trees and a roller coaster, and it says Orlando. My school's band actually went to Florida over spring break, and all of my friends that are in band got, um, if they already had Crocs and didn't buy a new pair, they at least got the Orlando gibbet while they were there. So I knew going that if I found a pair I liked, I wanted the gibbet. 
Um, so then we went to the Disney outlet. I did not buy a whole lot. I thought I would buy more. Um, shoot. My shirt that I bought is dirty. Um, but it was a really cute, like, light purple shirt with the muses on it and there's like rhinestone it's really cute if i can i'll insert a picture here of the shirt but actually one of my favorite youtubers jessica medley you should go watch her if you like theater at all if you just like great people she's a great person she got the shirt from cast connections and so I knew that I kind of wanted it if I could find it because I'm a big Hercules fan and then I just so happened to find it. I was really lucky. But yes, it's super adorable. The Muses never get merch so it was really an exciting... Hercules in general doesn't get merch but the Muses never get merch so it was a very exciting find for me. Um, so outlet wise I got this pen. I'm a pen collector as I think has been mentioned on here before. Um, it's the Pandora Conservation Initiative. It's the logo. It was $3.99, so that's a really good deal for a pen. I actually, the big highlight when Helen and I went to Disney was Pandora because it opened after I had gone the time before. And so I really meant to get a Pandora pen while we were there or something Pandora related, but I didn't. So now I have it. Um, I got these ears. They're on sale. Oh, I think they were like five dollars. They were really, really cheap for ears. Um, they're the cute older American flag ones. They have the sliding bow so it can go to the side or it can be centered. It's got the stars. It's got the gingham print. Um, and we were there over 4th of July so it was really fitting. I also, also, wow, that was close. Also, um, for those of you that don't know, at the outlet stores, there's the Character Warehouse outlets, there's just the Disney outlets. There's a lot of Disney outlet stores in Orlando. They sell the Disney Pandora charms as well as the Disney Alex and Ani bracelets a lot. So I got this one. Um, it's just the classic ear hat and it says Mickey on it and it's in gold. Um, it was like $10, $12 maybe, which is a huge markdown from how it's priced in the park, which I was very thankful for. Um, okay, then we went on the 4th of July. We were in, no, before the 4th of July. We were in Florida over for the week of the 4th of July. We went and did some of my senior pictures at Downtown Disney, um, and which I will post on the Instagram when I get them back. My dad took them, but while we were there, we stopped by the pin store and we got the special 4th of July pin. Um, so it says, it's got Mickey and Minnie, they're watching the fireworks, it says Happy Independence Day 2019. For me, it was really cute and really special because I got to be there for 4th of July. Um, so on 4th of July, story time. On 4th of July, we went to Paddlefish in Disney Springs, and we ate dinner there for the 4th of July, and then we went to, we took a boat from there to the, Poly, no, bus, took a bus from there to the Polynesian, and we watched the fireworks at the Polynesian, and we got the special, um, raspberry dole whip. They had special raspberry dole whip for the night. Um, so it was the pinky red dole whip because it was raspberry flavored and a blue cone and it had star sprinkles on it. I don't like cones so I got mine in a cup and unfortunately that meant they didn't put the sprinkles on it. But I still got a picture of it which may or not be up on the account. I don't know. We'll decide. But yes, so I was there for Independence Day which was Thursday I think and then Friday was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Friday, actually, they were doing the Hollywood Studios After Hours event in the parks. And I didn't think I was going to get to go to the parks. And then I did. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself 
because for the event we got in before park closed but we still um so we still had time to shop but we just went straight to toy story land to eat to check out rides kind of map out what we want to do and i'm kicking myself because i could have gone to the starbucks and hollywood studios and gotten my mug but i didn't and then they were closed and so it's fine though no regrets um but so we got to do hollywood studios after hours all the attractions were open well all the rides were open um because disney classifies some things as attractions that aren't rides all the rides were open and then um, there were character meet and greets. We had special wristbands, mine's in my travel journal now. Um, but so we got to ride Alien Swirling Saucers, we rode Slinky Dog Dash, we did Toy Story Mania, Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, and Star Tours. I think those were the six attractions that were open. For the first time in my entire life, I just walked straight to the alley rock and roller coaster they didn't make you stop for the pre-show like nothing walked straight to the alley got on in less than five minutes it was insane and so we were only there with the pass you could get in at seven and then it was over at 12 30. we got there an hour late because of traffic and stuff we got there at eight um so we were there for a little less than six hours maybe but still got so much done. Probably rode a lot more rides than we would have if we had been there during the day. Um, so I think it was a good investment for us, at least being there 4th of July weekend with so much of the Toy Story Land stuff still being so new. I feel like we got a lot more done during the day, or during that night than we would have during the day, and it worked better with our schedule. But one thing that was a really good, happy, thing for me was we were coming out of Star Tours and there were cast members there that were hanging out handing out buttons that said I'm celebrating the force and then they gave us um stickers that were just Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary stickers and it was just a really sweet thing because there weren't really any souvenir stands open because it was an after hours event last Disney thing I did some pen trading, didn't do a lot of pen trading, didn't bring my whole binder because I knew if I did I would be sad that I wasn't in the parks. Did some though. Um, the only one that I'm, this is one I'm potentially keeping, the rest are just going back for traders. And it's the peak Vinylmation, but it's in the style of the old cartoons, which I very much like. Oh, uh, last, I lied, last sort of thing. I got a new backpack. Going into my senior year, I wanted a new one. I've had my old one for a few years. It's already got school stuff in it, so it's getting a little heavy. But it's a quilted one. Um, it's gray with different shades of blue. It's got some cream in there. It's a hefty bag. Um, I'm also excited because white, blue, and gray are the school colors for the college I really want to go to. So. If it works out that I get in, then my backpack already fits the theme. So, next was Colorado. I was in Colorado for a week. Oh, no, wait, shoot. I'm so done. Last Disney thing, fanny pack for Colorado. I wanted a fanny pack. This one was just a really simple one. Style-wise, it adjusts. It has a lot of space for everything I need. So... I liked it. I got it. Ta-da! Okay, now, Colorado. Um, first thing, buttons. On my fanny pack is this button. It says Oklamerica. I know the guy that runs that company. He's always at my church camp in Colorado every year. He's a sweetheart. He always gives me buttons and stickers for my water bottle. Great guy. Um, oh, next is my ring. I got a mountain ring last year that was really cheap and it broke like a month after I got home which made me upset. This one's a little different style wise. It's only two mountains but it's a Pura Vita so it was the same price as the cheap one I got last year. Maybe a dollar more but it's Pura Vita 
so it'll last longer, I'm hoping. And that's a brand I really like, a brand a lot of my friends really like, and so I have high hopes for this bracelet. Um, next I got on this sweatshirt. We go shopping in Breckenridge every year. It's just simple turquoise sweatshirt. It says Breckenridge. It's got the little neckline. It's a crew neck. The color really brings out my eyes. And it's just really simple, which is what I wanted. I didn't want something crazy out there. That's actually all I bought in Colorado. Besides, I bought a carabiner for my keys because I lost mine while I was whitewater rafting. I didn't get a Starbucks mug there because they didn't have one that said Breckenridge. They just had Colorado one. And I figured if I'm just getting a Colorado one, I'll either order it off their website or wait until they come up with the Christmas ornaments and order the ornament. Because there was also a ridiculously long line. Um, I also bought a lot of food, but not a lot of, like, in-store purchases. Okay, moving on to my program. I competed in the Distinguished Young Women of Oklahoma Scholarship Program. Um, every state has a branch of Distinguished Young Women, so if you are a junior who will be a senior, um, not this year because most locals have already happened if you need a local to go to state but like if you're gonna be a junior this year look into the program apply to the program um your county may have a local that you have to compete in and win before you can go to state or my county didn't have a local so i just went at large i went straight to state i competed at state i got first runner up and then if you win state normally your program pays for you to go to nationals at least our program does if you win state you become the distinguished young woman of whatever state you're from your program pays for you to go to nationals which is in mobile alabama you're there for two weeks you compete you do activities it's a fun time but yes so um we went and visited a location called tri-county tech they gave us a little goodie bag. We got cards. They had thank you notes. Some of them just say hello. But they're really cute and they were, I believe they were designed and printed by the graphic design class program there. Um, they gave us stickers. A lanyard. Um, we got pins, sunglasses, you can see I haven't opened them yet, yes, um, we also got shirts to wear every day because we were going on like field trips and doing volunteer work, we had shirts and they were mint, turquoise and pink, they just had this logo on them. They were very comfortable though. Um, we also had in that goodie bag that we were given, we had Randy's powwow bling made jewelry. It's a jewelry company. Um, they, I don't know if she made these specially for us or if she donated them, but we all got necklaces or jewelry of some kind which was really sweet. There was also a water bottle in there and Tri-County also gave us like a Yeti mug that had their logo on it. Um, my program for state, you stay with the host family. Even if you're from the town that the program's in, you will always stay with the host family just because that's part of the experience. That's how you do it at nationals and they just want everyone to get the feel. And it also, um, when you stay with the host family, there's normally two girls to a host family. Um, sometimes there's three if there's an odd number. My house had three, but it just gives you an opportunity to get to know the other girls better um, in that environment. So, my host family were the sweetest people. Um, they bought snacks for us all the time. They um, had a pool. 
that we were welcome to use. Their grandkids came over and visited us. It was just really sweet. Um, and they were so nice. They actually gave us, um, on the day of the show, put backstage for us to be given by the directors, I think, gave it to us backstage. They were these little goodie bags and they had, um, cards that they had handwritten to us, um, but it was a Bath and Body Works package. And so all three of the girls staying in my house got the same scent, um, and got the same package. So we all got a candle in Cactus Blossom. We got a lotion in Cactus Blossom. And we got a perfume in Cactus Blossom. I'm really happy about it because, um, I don't know if all of you know this, but scent memory is actually really strong. And so every time I smell my candle and I light it up, it reminds me of the week. It reminds me of the girls. And it was just a really great positive experience. I believe that's all of my summer haul. Um, <laughs> if you want a, another video talking about DYW, going more in depth about that, talking about competitive dance, talking about the Disney After Hours event, anything at all, let me know. Um, I'm planning on having a lot more footage going up this year, be just for me personally too, even if no one's out there watching it. This is going to be my senior year. I want to have videos and footage uploaded somewhere that I can go back and look at them and remember the year, <laughs> remember the memories and the things I've done. Um, but yes. It's an exciting year. I'm going to see Hamilton next month. I'm going to see the Jonas Brothers, um, Les Mis. We have season passes to the PAC. So it's just going to be a fun time. But thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day. <laughs>